Well, good evening to you, and I've got something really, really fun and excitingly different to show you with the Genos. Uh, I've never seen a video ever about this, uh, and it's something called Audio Fraser. It's a software download from the Yamaha website, and what it does is you can put a musical track, i.e. in this case I've got Sugar Sugar recorded, and what I've had to do is with the track, because it varies in tempo, I've taken it into Logic, and I've taken away the tempo information from the file. I've then forced it to play at a tempo of 1, 2, 2, which is the, generally the, about the right tempo, but it varies by minute amounts. But now, that stays constant. So listen to this. I mean, this is going to blow your socks off. This is variation A. You ready? This is the style. You are my candy girl, and you got me wanting you. Good variation B. One, two, three, four. Honey, oh, sugar, sugar. You are my candy girl. Here's the variation C. Go back to variation B. Now this is incredibly rough because I've literally just this is my first attempt. Um, but it's automatically split the track. But what I assumed was that when you played, say for example, the first part, it, it runs quickly there because that was my doing. Um, but, but don't worry, I'm sure I can tweak this to get this running properly. If I go to variation B, it's, it's, it's absolutely seamless. It's just variation C. Variation D. See? I just can't believe the loveliness of loving you. See? See? A. And then you've even got, I'm guessing if I actually get this set up correctly, ending will be ending. For the last phrase of the piece. That brings in the tambourine. It's, come on, who's not impressed with this? This, this is just so clever. The only thing I've got to do now is the, the, the unclever part that sat playing this thing has got to figure out exactly how to, um, to split it. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice because you basically have the song on the screen and it's split into tiny little bars and then you just drag your mouse over the part that you want to be variation A and then the part that you want to be variation B. But the thing that baffles me is to how they've got it so smooth to loop. That's what I said when I realised what it could do. It's just incredible. Um, I always thought Ketron were leaders in this field. I, I never thought for one minute Yamaha. Um, I, I've seen this software and I just assumed it was just a toy or a gimmick or nothing to do anything like this 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 is so damn clever and of course of course because it's playing the track it frees your left hand and right hand up to play along
change if I want to, I can change that to an electric piano. It's hellishly impressive. Right, I'm going to disappear. I'm going to show you, obviously, you've, you've got this video to see what's going on now. Um, but I'm going to see if something serious can be done with this um, in terms of having a song split across intro, main, and ending. Um, because the fact that it loops so perfectly... Straight back in again. You wouldn't notice the joint. You really wouldn't join and it's just stitched so brilliantly. I just can't believe the loveliness of loving you. I just can't believe it's true. I just can't believe the wonder of the Honestly, the the power of this thing just and uh, and this is after five years. How many of you have actually seen this before, used like this? Um, ah, oh, honey, honey. You are my king. It also now opens up possibilities. If I was to create, um, say for example, a track in Logic for various style parts, so maybe make an introduction using Logic drums, VST guitars, real symphony strings, and then bring it in as an audio file. I could play my entire song using this and also freeing up. Never seen this done before. Have you? Let me know if you have. And um, maybe I'm just, you know, antiquated and been kept in the dark for this last five years. But I had no idea that this could do this. And uh, I'd be interested to see what you think. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're watching it on YouTube. And give us a, and don't forget to hit the little bell. Because then when I put more videos up, just, just explorative videos sort of showing you what it can do, uh, you'll get a notification. It doesn't cost you anything to watch on here on YouTube. And um, if you are a member of the club, who knows? Maybe this is something we can do to create a style. Uh, let's see what happens. Anyway, let's uh, let's uh, say give some feedback, hit subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think. Is this something you've seen done? Keep in touch. Bye.